Happy Valentine's Day. You hear it every year. Colorful hearts, greeting cards, candy, and stuffed animals line the aisles of supermarkets across the U.S., and other countries have their own ways of celebrating, too. The pressure of buying that perfect Valentine's gift for your significant other is sometimes just too much to bear. Valentine's Day is a force of industry and has become known as a Hallmark holiday. But what exactly does Valentine's Day have to do with St. Valentine? Was he the patron saint of Hallmark cards and sugar hearts with messages of love on them? Or does his story have a bit more depth? Let's find out some more about this dead Christian you should know about. St. Valentine was indeed a real person, or perhaps persons that lived throughout ancient Rome's history. Three have been sainted by the Roman Catholic Church, some potentially contributing to the St. Valentine character that has been created. For the most part, the records that detail the specific actions of St. Valentine have been lost, most as early as the 4th century AD, taking this story of St. Valentine and turning it into more of a legend. However, there are some stories that stand out among all the rest as lending to the Valentine story, and they all share the same hero. His name was Valentinus. Our stories take us to Rome. The year is 269 AD. The Roman Empire is in turmoil and in the midst of what historians now call the crisis of the 3rd century. Facing external pressure from barbarians and large-scale migrations, not to mention an internal struggle for control that has caused rebellions, civil wars, and a juggling of power throughout the century, Rome was in an increasingly difficult position. The Roman problem was very quickly becoming one of not having enough soldiers to fill their armies. And the current emperor Claudius Gothicus, also known as Claudius II, or more commonly as Claudius the Cruel, had the solution. Claudius outlawed all marriages and engagements in Rome and then forced all those who were not currently engaged or married into the military. Those men who had been married prior to Claudius's decree, the lucky ones, were exempt and were able to continue living their lives. Rome had found its army in the midst of its cities and villages by pulling its men out of their professions and fields and placing them on the battlefield. These men would forego the potential for love and family, yeah, at least for a bit, and hopefully not die on a Roman battlefield while fighting the barbarian horde. Enter Valentinus, the Bishop of Terni. Valentinus was a priest in Rome at the time of Claudius' decree. Did I mention that he was a Christian? Valentinus was a Christian priest, which, at the time, while not completely illegal, wasn't the most popular career choice. Valentinus, being the hopeless romantic that he was, decided that he would defy the decree of the emperor and continue to marry those young couples who wished to be married, either for love, or, let's be honest, maybe avoiding conscription. Valentinus is said to have cut out hearts from paper to give the now-exempted husbands, as well as persecuted Christians, to remind them of their wedding vows, and of God's love in their time of great tribulation. Sound familiar? Sometime later, while under house arrest in the home of a judge, Valentinus was forced to test his Christian faith. The judge brought his blind daughter to Valentinus, instructing him that he would follow his every instruction if he was just able to restore the daughter's sight. Valentinus sat beside the girl, placed his hands on her eyes, and prayed. He removed his hands from the girl's eyes a short time later to see them fully restored. She could see. Struck by the miracle that had just been performed, the judge followed Valentinus's every instruction. He baptized his entire household. He freed his slaves and destroyed all the idols to his pagan gods. The rumors of Valentinus' acts of miracles and kindness made their way all the way up to the top of the food chain. Claudius, the emperor himself, issued an arrest warrant for Valentinus and imprisoned him for his crimes against the empire, notably helping Christians 
and his defiance of the emperor's decree against marriage. Valentinus, not being one to sit in his prison cell idle waiting for the time of his execution, befriended not only his jailer, but Emperor Claudius himself. This friendship had its benefits for Valentinus, giving him an opportunity to denounce his Christian faith and quickly be released from prison. However, rather than deny his Christian beliefs, Valentinus attempted to preach the gospel to the emperor and was very quickly sentenced to death for his actions. Refusing to die after being beaten by clubs and stones, a customary execution for Christians at the time, Claudius had him beheaded at the Flamian Gate, likely to a crowd of tens of thousands of people. Legends of Valentinus tell a story of just prior to this execution, when he healed his jailer's daughter's blindness. Throughout his imprisonment, he had grown close to this daughter and the jailer himself, calling them friends. Upon his death sentence, he left her a note, a note that was signed, From your Valentine. The Roman Catholic Church recognized the lives of three individuals for St. Valentine. The prior story is attributed to one or all of them. He was canonized in 496 AD, with his observation day being the Feast of St. Valentine on February 14th. These stories seem a bit far off from the teddy bears and heart-shaped candy boxes that we receive on this now Hallmark holiday. But the deeper message behind St. Valentine's actions remain. St. Valentine led a life filled with love for his fellow man, doing whatever he could to open their eyes and see the truth of Jesus Christ their Savior, forsaking all, even his own life, for the sake of the gospel. And that is why he's a dead Christian you should know about. Thank you for listening or watching Dead Christians You Should Know About. Dead Christians is a publication of Higher Things Incorporated. All research, writing, and recording for this episode was done by me, Patrick Sturdivant, and all video animation was done by Sandra Madden. For more information about Dead Christians You Should Know About or Higher Things, visit our website at higherthings.org. Happy St. Valentine's Day.